So uh, let's see. Let's see how loud it is. This is way quiet. Matter is tab to Judge Boring. Oh, <laughs> long crime took it down. <laughs> no, no way. <laughs> you pussies. <laughs> That's the most embarrassing shit you could have possibly done. Oh, oh boy. <laughs> What's going on, everyone? Jeremy here from The Quartering, and my channel is under attack. Well, not my channel, actually. A good friend of mine, uh, Mr. Nick Ricada. And when you go after my friends, well, my friends get my sword. And I know we share a lot of subscribers, so a lot of you might already know about this. But I figured, you know, while I'm no lawyer, I do feel like I understand DMCA and fair use probably better than a lot of lawyers do because, well... It's a necessity if you're going to be on this platform. You have real no, really no choice. You've got to understand fair use. YouTube forces us to understand DMCA, and um, this uh, whole debacle is hilarious. If you uh, follow Nick Ricada, he is a uh, lawyer in uh, the garbage state of Minnesota. Just kidding. I mean, just the area where Nick lives is garbage. Every, everybody else is fine. Um, their sports teams are also garbage. But anyway, um, I'm legal, contractually obligated to say that being from Wisconsin. But uh, Nick and I uh, will get together soon. But anyway, um, you probably remember him from uh, really just getting huge on the scene, uh, being really the number one source for streaming the uh, Kyle uh, Rittenhouse trial. And now he's really come into his own live streaming and commentating on these trials. And I got to admit, it's very compelling content when he has, you know, four, five, six other lawyers in there all sharing opinions and um, uh, arguing. And then lawyers being lawyers is also uh, uh, fun to watch sometimes. And I'm very thankful for him for uh, inviting me in to some of his live streams. I think I was on the live stream and there's like freaking 75,000 people watching. Um, and I'm grateful to him for that. And he's always been uh, a good friend of mine. So... Now I get to prove that I'm a good friend. Um, last night, or yesterday, uh, while Nick was doing his job, which is, of course, streaming a particular trial, um, it seemed like this other network, Law and Crime, uh, got a little a little angry, a little, a little butthurt. You could see the original tweet here. Kath, Kathy Russen, executive producer at Law and Crime Trial, I don't know how Law and Crime has all these people that work for them. Maybe they're like an actual like television network. They have like 30,000 followers. How do they afford to have all these people working for them? Anyway, um, Road Rage Trial. Uh, the judge has just ordered that this trial cannot be live streamed on social media. This means YouTube, Facebook, etc. You can watch it on Law and Crime Network here. Okay. Interesting. People are honestly tired of the same. And you can see a lot of this people coming in here. What? Anyway, what's the difference between streaming it on social media platforms like YouTube and Facebook versus a website or TV network? Asking the question out of curiosity, just trying to figure out the judge's reasoning here. And then somebody says, or you could just go to Ricada Media channel and watch it now. Then Kathy replies, He's violating the judge's order in Edgecombe. Everyone else took it down because right before they began, the judge ordered no live streams on social media. I expect cameras will get yanked out of the trial because of this violation. Nick Ricada replies, I don't recall being under this judge's order, nor much less in his jurisdiction. And yet, Levy probably also works for them. Yes, she does. Judges have discretion and can set rules for coverage when cameras can be recording, etc. Well, that's not exactly how this works. You guys are laughably clueless. A judge does not decide what TV content a private citizen can stream on the platform, you dingus. And there's a lot of people here. I expect cameras will go yank out of this trial because of this violation. I'm so sorry for your loss, Kathy. And you see Nick 
streaming it there with, I think that's the Law of Self-Defense guy, I think. Um, <clears throat> it's a small picture. Um, you know, post the order, please. Bad, bad legal takes, bad legal takes. Wash ratio, bad legal takes. I mean, this is insane. I, I can't imagine if there... <laughs> I don't think from, you know, from what I understand as a honor, I'm, I, you guys might not know this, but I'm actually an honorary member of LawTube. And from what I understand, and again, I may be wrong, but I'll never admit it because as an honorary member of LawTube, I must act like a lawyer. There is, if, if it seems unlikely that it would be legal for a judge to work with a private company, essentially guaranteeing profit for that private company to stream a legal proceeding. Either it's all okay or none of it's okay. Just like we saw uh, with the uh, big trial in New York, that wasn't uh, streamed. That wasn't broadcast. It should have been. You know, the American people, I feel like, deserve that. But no. And you see, I don't even understand why this person thinks and by the way 155 replies to 14 likes that's not how any of this works judge don't stream the file trial judge says touch your nose judge says hop on one foot render a verdict ah judge didn't say judge says like you have so many the judge said no one could live stream it but watch a live stream on my website it and you know it seems like if they had Again, just as an honorary member of LawTube. And by the way, if you're not yet, if nothing else, what I like is uh, when when people are do something dumb to send a bunch of subscribers over there. Ricada Law is a relatively small channel at just 341,000 subscribers. He He's like my little brother. You know, he's a little, you know, you know. He's, he's I think the old, he used to be, um, he's uh a lot of people, when they refer to him, they say, you know, sweet summer child or um, bless your heart or, um, uh, you know, he's he's touched. I don't really know what these things mean, but it's what they say about him. But anyway, I would highly recommend subscribing to him. It's very entertaining content. In fact, he's streaming Thank right now right uh, with 7,000. Let's see if anybody remi uh, remembers this. Um, let's close the poll. Uh, I am literally recording a video about your DMCA right now. You'll see this in the video. Uh, lawception. Done. Okay. So he's streaming right now, Theodore Edgecombe's trial. It's great content. Um, it's not, you know, trials are not very interesting, um, but they make it interesting, which is why there's 7,000 people watching. Um, I don't really know. I'm not familiar with this trial, but it's very interesting to me. So if you haven't, you know, maybe give Nick a subscribe. If you're looking for some content to enjoy during the day in between watching my many videos, I would say um, he's a good channel to, uh, to be hanging out with. Now, <clears throat> in terms of the legality is, so this law and whatever channel thought they could DMCA take down something. I don't know. I, I don't believe that that's the case. I don't think judges are allowed to make private business agreements with another company to profit from streaming. Um, yeah, the chat's, chat's recognizing it. I better take them off screen before they say something that's going to get me banned. Uh, but this whole thing is hilarious to me. I don't really know anything about Law and Crime Network. They seem pretty pathetic. They seem to have a lot of sad employees that, while maybe lawyers don't understand even basic DMCA laws. Um, but uh, yeah, I definitely stand with Nick on this. Um, I'm going to run an ad at the end of this video for Meta PCs to, to earn some money if anybody buys one. And I'll, uh, I'll certainly help donate to any kind of legal expenses that he uh, may incur fighting this as I hope he does. And, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed, uh, you hope you enjoy Nick and, uh, you could see he can stop the cameras. This is such a weird cope. 
Here she says, the order is about as solid as a soaked single-ply toilet paper and as useful as used toilet paper. He can stop the cameras, so... Yeah, but if they're streaming it, too, they're, they would have to take out their own live stream to own Nick, I guess? My guess is this whoever runs this bad, this law and crime network is super salty that a relative nobody, no offense, Nick, I know you don't take that, you won't take that as, an, uh, as a slight, is crushing them. Like, Law and Crime Network probably has never had 100,000 people ever watching them do anything. I hope you enjoyed this video. We'll talk to you again real soon. Huge shout out to this video's sponsor, Meta PCs. Now, I know you're not going to run out and quick buy a brand new computer just because I ran this ad, but what I would hope is that you'll keep Meta PCs in mind for a variety of reasons and use my promo code, The Quartering, to save big at checkout. Look, Meta PCs offers custom configurations. It has insane parts availability. They're one of the few people I see out there with the brand new NVIDIA 3090 in stock and shipping. When you buy from them, they offer you build photos as they work along. When you receive your PC, it's ready to go out of the box. It's 100% US-based sales and support. And one of my favorite things, it's a veteran owned business. Meta PCs is veteran owned. One of Meta's owners has served in Afghanistan and Iraq and received a purple heart for his service. Meta also employs military veterans in the Meta Operations Center and also provides systems to veterans going back to school to help them re-enter the workforce all across the United States. Meta PCs also offers financing. Head on over to MetaPC at MetaPCs.com. Use code THEQUARTERING at checkout to save money and support my content. If nothing else, go configure a PC, build a little wish list, and when you're ready, remember to use code THEQUARTERING at checkout at MetaPCs. I know I'll be getting myself a brand new one before the...